Good afternoon, Church. I am sorry that we cannot get together on this Good Friday with our ecumenical brothers and sisters, but I wanted to give you something to at least commemorate this important day in the life of our faith. I want to invite you to open your Bibles, and if you are a family, to read this together. If you're alone, to sit down and just read chapter 19 of John. This is John's version of how Jesus was crucified. When you read it, there are going to be a couple times when the phrase, the Jews, will be in there. And it's not favorable. And it's texts like this that really encourage anti-Semitism, unfortunately. So when you get to that point, I want you to change the Jews to the people. Because we have to remember that Jesus himself was a Jew. And he got turned on by his own people within the course of a week. Remember, last Sunday was Palm Sunday and people were saying Hosanna and lauding him and going crazy over him. And this week, we have to imagine much of that same crowd that's saying, crucify him, crucify him. That's what happens when we act out of fear. Things that we may have said one time, we change because we're afraid of the consequences. So talk amongst yourselves if you're a family or call up friends or family and say, you know, how do we do that in our own lives? And how can we transform ourselves so that we don't do that anymore, that we don't turn on our own? The story of Jesus on this Good Friday is tragic. He healed, he loved, he cared, and yet the people turned on him and he was murdered. But we have to embrace this story in its entirety as gruesome and as hard as it is, because what meaning will there be in Easter Sunday if there is no death? Resurrection is empty and pointless if there is no death. So brothers and sisters, gather around, read the scripture together, talk about it, and we will end with a prayer. Dear and holy God, on this darkest of days in our faith, Enter into our lives and remind us that you are a God of light and hope and salvation. Help us, dear God, help us to turn from our ways in which we tear each other down and help us to be people who lift each other up because we know your grace, your love, and your joy. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a good Friday. And I will see you again on Easter Sunday. God bless each and every one of you. Goodbye.